Hi, and welcome to the Control M video on Adjust Conditions. This feature adjusts conditions that would prevent the job flow from executing when there are missing jobs in the flow due to scheduling criteria. My name is Zev Gross, and I'm Principal Technical Support Analyst in BMC Software. Let's go over the agenda for this video. First, we'll cover several use cases where this feature is needed. Second, we'll discuss the available options related to the scope of this feature. Third, we'll explore an additional use case where adjust condition doesn't preserve the job flow and how the adjust with dummy option solves this problem. Finally, we'll summarize the key considerations when using adjust condition. The first use case involves ordering a smart folder where some of the jobs are not scheduled to run on a given day. For instance, certain jobs are set to run on weekdays while others are scheduled for weekends. In this job flow, jobs that run on weekends are highlighted in yellow. Consequently, on weekdays, the subsequent job in the flow shown in green cannot run due to the absence of events that would have been generated by the weekend job. As you can see in the definition of job D, it's waiting for two events, one generated by job B and the other by job C. While job C is not ordered, the adjust condition functionality would automatically account for the missing event from job C, allowing job D to run without waiting for the event generated by job C. To enable adjust condition feature, open the properties window of a smart folder and set adjust condition option to yes in the prerequisite tab. The adjust condition feature is managed at each individual folder level. Now we will order the folder with scheduling criteria. On a weekday, both jobs C and E will not be ordered, but all the jobs will still run as the events in the prerequisite tab will be adjusted during the order and the jobs will run. Here we see the folder as it was ordered into the active domain. And because the just condition was enabled, the missing events were adjusted to allow the flow to complete without the weakened jobs. Zooming in on job D's properties, we can see that the only prerequisite event job D is waiting for is the one generated by job B. The event from job C, which is not ordered, was removed during the ordering process. Similarly, for job L, it was initially waiting for events from both job F and job E. However, after the ordering process, the prerequisite event from job E was adjusted and deleted allowing job L to run. Now let's discuss the second use case. In this scenario, we have two smart folders with an event dependency between them. In addition to the adjustments made in the first folder, when weekend jobs are not ordered, there is also a task in the second folder that depends on the process in the first folder to complete before it can proceed. In the diagram, we can see the job X1 cannot run until job E completes when it runs on weekends. However, <clears throat> on weekdays when job E does not run, we want the adjust condition functionality to remove the event that would have been generated by job E, allowing job X1 to run automatically to completion. Let's see how this works. We are ordering both folders at the same time while adjust condition is set to Y on both folders. We are looking at two folders we just ordered, and we see that this did not work as we expected because job X1 is still waiting. Let's take a look what went wrong here. Related to adjust condition feature, there's a system parameter in ControlM server that controls the scope where the adjustment is being made at. If the scope is set to group its default value, then the adjustment is done with any missing event that would have been generated within the smart folder. 
When a folder is evaluated for scheduling criteria at the time of order, the missing events that would have been generated within the folder will be deleted by Adjust Condition feature. When the scope is set to AJF, the adjustment is made by taking into account all the jobs in the active domain and all the job definitions within Control-M server. Adjust Condition feature scans the active domain to see if any jobs in AJF will be able to generate the prerequisite event, and if it does not find any job in AJF, it will scan the folder definitions in the Control-M server. And if there is a job that generates that event, but is not scheduled today, then it will be adjusted for that condition at runtime and not at the order time. Let's go through an example and see how it works. After making changes to the system parameter, CTM adjusts condition scope and setting it to AJF. I'm going to go and order the two folders again. Both folders are ordered and both folders ran to completion with all the events being adjusted at runtime. Zooming in on job D, we see that job D was waiting for both job B and job C to complete, as seen in the prerequisite tab. With the just condition option set to yes, and the system parameters adjust condition scope set to AJF, the run criteria adjusted the events by ignoring the prerequisite events that would have been generated if there was no conflict in scheduling and allowed the jobs to run. Now looking at job L, we see something similar. Showing the prerequisite tab, the job is waiting for both job E and job F. But because of adjust condition set to Y in the build folder and adjust scope set to AGF, the run criteria ignores the events coming from job E that does not meet scheduling criteria. Zooming in a job X1 that is in the second folder called validate adjust condition, job X1 is showing two events in prerequisite tab, one for job X0 to complete and another for job E to complete, which is located in the first folder. Normally, job E would have generated the event, but since it is not scheduled to run, the run criteria for that event was adjusted. As a result, job X1 was allowed to run despite the missing event and despite the fact the job generating the event is not from the same folder. So far, we have discussed adjust condition feature with system parameter CTM adjust condition scope. Now we will discuss another use case and apply system parameter CTM folder adjust dummy. In the third use case, we have a simple flow with four jobs being executed sequentially. We can see the job C4 runs on weekends, but not on weekdays. When ordering the folder on a weekday and adjust conditions set to yes on the folder, job D4 will be able to run even though job C4 is not ordered, as we saw in the previous two examples. With the scope set to group, where job D is waiting for the event generator, but job C4 will be deleted. Or if the scope is set to AJF, the run criteria will ignore the event that would have been generated by job C4, and the folder will run to completion. When we go ahead and order this folder using the schedule criteria, we see the jobs A, B, and D were ordered as expected, but because C was not ordered and the events were adjusted, we lost the sequencing aspects that may be required to run the jobs in this folder from A to D. As you can see, job D ran without any prerequisites and it did not wait for job A and B to complete. The solution to this use case is to use a just condition dummy system parameters. Let's look into that. When the system parameter CTM folder adjust dummy is set to yes, 
events are not adjusted as in the previous two use cases. Instead, jobs that do not meet the scheduling criteria are ordered in as dummy job types. Dummy job does not execute the command or script associated with it. Dummy jobs solve our problem by acting as a placeholder, preserving the sequence of job flow and thus ensuring the job in the folder execute in the correct order. After we have set the system parameter CTM folder adjust dummy to yes, we will go ahead and order this folder using the schedule criteria. We see that all jobs in the folder are ordered and the job that did not meet scheduling criteria was ordered in with job type dummy, thus preserving the sequencing of the original folder. In summary, the feature adjust condition at the smart folder level, this feature adjusts conditions that would prevent the job flow from executing when there are missing jobs in the flow due to scheduling criteria. System parameters, CTM adjust condition scope, adjusts events at the smart folder level scope, deleting the conditions at the order time, or adjust event in the control and server scope, where the runtime criteria ignores the conditions that are not present. The system parameter CTM folder adjust dummy, instead of adjusting the event that would be missing, the missing jobs are ordered as dummy when the scheduling criteria is not met, thus preserving the jobs sequencing and order of execution. CTM folder adjust dummy takes precedence over the scope. When adjust dummy is set to yes, the scope parameter is ignored. That concludes our presentation on the adjust condition functionality with system parameters adjust condition scope and adjust folder condition dummy. Additional options for adjust condition will be covered in subsequent videos. Thank you for watching. We we'll greatly appreciate any feedback you have on this video.